Yo, spending money on unnecessary things. I know all about it. Quite recently, I spent a crap load on a hard drive failure. Usually I back up twice, but this one time I went traveling with just one external hard drive, it failed and it had the Nat Geo footage on it, as well as some other stuff, including a Zeiss Exo Lens review, which I shot in Hong Kong in November 2016. But now I have the Zeiss lenses again. I thought I'd piece something together with some of the old footage and some new footage as well. There's a much cheaper lens to compare it with. This is the Island LP3006 Fish Eye Lesson. I mean, who wrote this? Donald Trump? Careless. There are lens available. Flesh Eye. That sounds like an adult toy. Macro and wide angle lens. They spelt it right there. Anyway, let's unbox the product. Instructions. Happy, not happy. Happy, leave a review on Amazon to share your opinion. Oh, and if you're not happy, don't leave a review on Amazon. Uh, connect to us via website or email. Guaranteed reply within 12 hours. Amazing. Anyway, I think it's a clip lens, so it's a clip and a lens. So yes, that is a much cheaper set of lessons. You get three lenses, a fisheye, macro, wide angle. Zeiss, you get a macro, wide angle, and a telly. But which one should you buy? Yes, I have the Zeiss Exo lenses for the iPhone. One slight problem with the iPhone, as you may well be aware. My iPhone, I chucked it, it cracked. Shit. Bum. Okay. Yes, well, there's nothing a bit of tape can't fix anyway. So here we are on the mean streets of Cambridge for a bit of street shooting. Let's go. Well, first of all, let's address the most obvious issue with these ice lenses. For three of these lenses, they cost $600. That's a heck of a lot of money. I mean, for $600, you could buy a heck of a load of cheese. But the build quality of this is superb. There's nothing cheesy about the way this is presented and packaged. And of course, they're built like mini brick outhouses. It looks like so. Macro. Oh, it's a flower. Just to show it that it's a macro lens. It's a tele lens. It's, oh, oh, oh. What? Fair enough. So that is the case. It just slides on. Oh, oh that's... Come on, you bastard. Freaking hell, that's tight. Oh, sorry for all the grunting noises. Oh, that is one, it fits like a glove, a metal glove. Sorry, that's all the footage I managed to recover from the Hong Kong shoot. Anyway, you have the option of mounting them to a full-on case, a corner thing, or a skeleton thing. All solidly put together. I mean, yes, build quality is better than some DSLR lenses, but do you really need this for an iPhone lens? But this isn't just about appreciation of build quality, right? Because this is a Zeiss lens, so it should be all about the optics. This should be a fantastic lens, but this is a lens in front of a lens, so it's only going to be as good as the iPhone lens, right? Images do look good. The center is nice and sharp, and the edges look decent too. Out of the three lenses, I prefer the wide angle the most. It's the most fun, most usable for me. But for street photography, it's a little bit too wide. I mean, to get properly interesting subjects, you have to get really up close. Like that. I mean, it works out about 18 millimeters in the 135 format. It's great for landscapey stuff or just sucking in more of the background. For photos of people on the street, I'd rather use the standard iPhone lens. Well, one good thing about a wide angle Zeiss is that there's a very minimal wide angle distortion. I bet you won't get that with a $6 lens. Let's not pretend that a cheap option would be as good in every way, but just how big a difference? Apparently it's a really interesting door. Anyway, let me show you how much more the $6 lens bulges. Let me show you my bulge, lady. And this looks more like a fish eye. Or should I say flesh eye? Yeah, so for $6, what do you expect, really? It's a macro and a wide angle, but it's not very good at either, to be honest. The macro shots look all right from Island, but mainly in the center, the edges look a bit funky. If I'm completely honest, ergonomics of this is far, far superior to the Zeiss. It's not as top heavy. 
I think the Zeiss lens is a bit too bulky, too much weight on one end, a bit too top heavy, I say as I'm carrying this in my other hand. I've never spoken to a celebrity before. I'm very pleased that you call me celebrity. Yeah, I, I think of myself <laughs> as uh, barely having a career, but there you go. Just met some dude called Paul. He wants to take my portrait for some crazy reason. I do. Here we go. How do you want me? Um, just uh, look straight into the lens. Was that crazy enough for you? You look beautiful. I. Do you know I'm gonna do? Give you my number later. Each. So you're you're really? into portraits, right? Yeah, go on. Then. What does Paul the portraitist think of this portraitist of a lens? No, there you go. So this is equivalent to about 56 millimeters. Not really a typical portrait lens. Um, yeah, you want to give it a try? Yeah, go on then. If you can see the screen, slowly moving backwards, I think he's going to steal it. He's slowly moving away, further and further away. He's going to steal, steal the lens. What Beautiful. do you think? You like it? Beautiful. Yeah. It costs roughly 600 US dollars oh for the whole set. God. Would you get that? No. Just can a I, set of three clip on lenses. I'm just going to say hi to you. Hello. Can I take a selfie with you? Yeah, you can. Today, I met Kaiman. Hey man, it's good. Um, yeah, nice meeting you. Okay, okay. Yeah. see you later. Yeah, see you later. The portrait lens is my least favourite of the Zeiss lenses. It's basically a slightly long standard lens. It's essentially a lens you get if you forgot to buy the 7 Plus. If I wanted a portrait lens, if I wanted something around the standard, I'd just get the 7 Plus. Makes sense, doesn't it? All three Zeiss lenses produce nice crisp images, but the key question is, is the... Okay. Okay. Or... Not okay. 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 Bulk here is not that terrible from the tele lens. Much better on the macro though. I've just bumped into Six Street Under, AKA Craig. This dude shoots with this. Nice bit of kit. What do you think of these? Yeah. Can't really comment on them. Obviously iPhones are great. Really okay, comment no that. comment, no comment, okay. <laughs> no never mind, never mind. Okay, so just in case you don't know or haven't Googled yet, Craig, AKA Six Street Under, is a street photographyist. He's just following a guy in a hat now. And I'm gonna follow him. Oh, that, that's good. Look at that one. Wait for it. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. It's yeah. Pharrell. It's the Chinese Pharrell. Mm, he doesn't look happy though. <laughs> this guy didn't want to speak to me just now because he had two girls with him. And he's like, I'm and they busy. Ditched, they, they totally did me. <laughs> he's like, now, now they ditched him. He's like, can I use your Zeiss lens? Now you just got I'm, two I'm... married blokes, not married to each other, not could like be. that. Could, could be. be. There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Probably want to use it a little bit more. What do you think of it? Can't say. Can't say. You can't say. No, nah, he's legally obliged not to say. Really? No. Nah. The Zeisses are nice, and that's pretty much all I can say about them, which is just as well. I've run out of battery, so no more iPhone sh I think it's quite obvious which set of lenses are better, but the question is, do you need these Zeiss lenses? I mean, the hard drive repair, as expensive as it was, I deemed it to be worthwhile. It was a necessary expense. These lenses are pretty good for lens converters. They're not lenses that go directly over the sensor, but over the iPhone lens. They serve a purpose and they do reasonably well, but they can't drastically improve the image quality over the original lens itself. The EXO lenses are lovely products, but it's more something you buy with your heart rather than your head. But if you've got to have the best, even if it is for mobile phone photography, there's only one way. If you want a cheap option but don't want the island lesson, there are alternatives. On his ice versus an Oki. How much is that? About 200 quid. How much is that? I don't know, 50 quid? No, because it's still just a phone. So you'd rather get this funny thing versus Zeiss? See, this looks fun. Because I'm not going to be ta you're not going to be taking serious photographs on your on your phone, are you? Yeah, this is cool. Perhaps seeing smartphone shots tend not to be serious in nature. Okay. 
it's all about the fun and smart ideas. I guess we managed to get one out of two of these. Almost. You having fun, Tim? It's just a little bit hard to breathe. That's it. Paul, can you help me? Shit. That's proper in there, isn't it? I know. Grip on the Shit, the bed. <laughs> That's tight. It is. It's rammed right in there. Oh, oh God, I got it. It's coming out. It's coming out. Got oh, it. Yes, it's come. Okay. Great.